Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into a simple yet beautiful note-taking app called Zoho Notebooks, which is a great alternative if you're looking for something new and you're moving from Evernote, for example. It has the same notebook structure with uh, just like Evernote does, and you can create your own notebooks. So let me just create one right here. And now we have two notebooks. You can, of course, change the name of that notebook. So let's change this to test for YouTube. And you can start adding notes. And there are a couple of different notes you can add. You can add uh, a card like this right here. Uh, and I could give this test and I could just start writing. I could add tasks in here. I can add images. I can even add a table right here as well. Uh, not anything complex, but it has all of the formatting you would need in a note-taking app. You can add co quotes as well as code if you want to, and you have basic formatting inside of here as well. Uh, one thing I haven't checked is whether or not it works with Markdown, and it seems like it does not, so that is something you might not like. You can add reminders to this. You can actually edit the color of this. So let's just make this white or I could change the color right here if I wanted to, to uh, whatever color I want it to be. But let's have it as white. You can add tags uh, inside of here as well. Uh, and you can see how many words and characters are inside of here. Now, if we go back, we can uh, also add uh, add to do's inside of here. So this could be uh, to do take out the trash, take out the trash, or you could call this daily to do if you wanted to, and you could add uh, things underneath it. So let's say we would call this actually daily to do's and give it today's date. So that is 19.03.24 like this. And I could start adding uh, tasks here. Take out trash, go for a walk, exercise. Let's see if I can spell that correctly. I think I did. And you could add different cards inside of inside of your notebook. So to do cards, writing cards, you could add uh, checklists inside of your writing cards and you can even add images here as well. You also have note boards, uh, which are kind of fun. It is sort of a Kanban view for your notes uh, or rather a list view, a visual list view. Uh, it is really, really uh, cool, uh, but I can't see how this would actually uh, benefit me personally. It is just a visual way to see your notes, which is cool, but it isn't anything special. It doesn't seem like I can actually drag this uh, from a board to another board. Um, and you can see an all notes view here as well, and you can see your shared notes. You can see your different reminders as well as the different tags. You have search inside of here as well, but all in all, it is a basic, easy to use note taking app. So you can see your different notebooks, the things stored within notebooks, and you can take a lot of different notes here and you can create a notebook for everything you want. Let's just trash this. It is, as I said, a simple, easy to use note taking app. And now we can take a look at the pricing of this. So it has a free plan which costs uh, zero dollars because it's free. You can sync across devices. You have two gigabytes of cloud storage for notes and files. Upload limit is set to 130 megabyte note size. Set recurring reminders, scan documents, tag community and email support, bookmark recipe cards, and so on. 
but you can also pay for uh, the yearly plan which is $19.99 for a year or $43.99 for three years and the monthly plan is two euros which is quite cheap. Uh, with that you get 100 gigabyte of cloud storage, upload files to 1 gigabyte, 200 megabyte note card sizes. You can search your documents using OCR, so this is great if you upload PDFs. I haven't tested the pro plan, but this is a great feature which a lot of people do love Evernote for, and this is a lot cheaper. You get phone and live chat support, which is something not a lot of note-taking apps offer. You get smart tags. You can turn emails into note cards. Again, smart search using OCR and object detection. Uh, co-work in notebooks and note card groups. Up to 100 versions of a note card. Add to widgets, scan tables, scan business cards. Add to notification tray and set premium covers on your notebooks. So this... Uh, offers a lot for the monthly price of two euros which is really really cheap so if you're looking for an alternative to Evernote this has a lot of the same feature as Evernote does and it is just in general a beautiful easy to use easy to learn note-taking app it offers the same notebook structure and it has the note cards as well and it is sort of i would call it a blend between um, evernote and google keep that's my personal thought on it if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video